Joe. We are war. I walk through the valley of the shower. And we just wanted to say that we love you and we miss you and we'll talk to you later. Yeah. I love you, Daddy. Yeah. And I want you to come home so bad. Just the, the whole experience of being mobilized and deployed, it's hard. It just rips you away from everything you've known. Um, I think with him, he definitely had to deal with some things that I never had to deal with. And when he came back home, he was in a completely different mindset, whereas I was still into the regular day in and day out type things. I know what's going to happen to me when I get back. I'm going to shut down. I'm going to learn how to deal with society and people again. It took me three months. I lived in a room on base. It was my cave, and I stayed there. I, I wouldn't let myself feel. My, I just build busy, busy, busy and not feel. And we got to where we didn't even like talk about stuff that we talked about life, but not about stuff that really connected us. By bringing military couples on special retreats, the Phoenix Project helps heal relationships that are emotionally damaged by combat deployments. It seems when you come back from a deployment, it seems that something is different with the world. And in all actuality, something is different with you. The, the one thing on our mind was to stay alive at any way we could, at any cost that we could. So we kind of had to block out the family. We had to block out the things that we did back home. He would tune me out. He wouldn't um, communicate with me about things that happened over there. He wouldn't tell me how he was feeling. It's difficult to reconnect because soldiers are taught to stifle their emotions and their feelings because that could get them killed or another soldier killed. So they're, we are trained to not feel. All forms of communication that a couple can have, we didn't have it and I was desperate, frankly. There was something like there's a wall between us that we had gotten separated and we just, I guess, wanted our relationship back. The Phoenix Project helps military couples realize that their struggles to survive and succeed in life are shared by others in so many ways, emotionally, psychologically, and physically. It reinforces the reasons why they are couples in the first place, whether they've been together three years or 30. I guess after being here and seeing other couples that are going through some of the same situations we were going through, you realize there may be a problem, something that needs to be addressed. I honestly believe that if we wouldn't have found this, we would have, we would have ended the relationship. This is a, a, a probably one of the greatest kept secrets, and it shouldn't be. The Phoenix Project is a triumph of the American community, a shining opportunity for couples who can reconnect in their lives after going through war. For every deployed service member who are combat veterans and their spouses who participate in the Phoenix Project, travel, lodging, and meals are paid for through private donations to the Military, Veteran, and Family Assistance Foundation. They got, they got a warm place in my heart for the rest of my life, and I'll never forget this place. They know. You know, they know what, they know what it is that we're looking for to get the cure, to, to be able to express ourselves. Within together. ourselves. Right. The answers have always been within us, and we just needed help uncovering that. The Phoenix Project really emphasizes that, that yeah, our, our soldiers have come back, but we've been through it too. And um, I'm sorry. It means a lot to be recognized.